Hey everyone, it's Nicole and welcome back to another Avatar Way of Water review. The final review actually. Today we're going to be looking at set 75577, the Mako submarine with 533 pieces. I am so sorry that it took me forever to get to this set. I feel a little bad because I know a lot of you are really, really excited about this set. Me too. This was actually my favorite um, set when I first looked at them, surprisingly. I ended up really liking Pyacon the best, I think. But I am really excited to show you guys what this set has to offer. I did end up still really, really liking it. It also comes with four exclusive minifigures to this set, one of them being Spider. The other one that I think most people are going to be excited about is the RDA Corch. So again, super cool set. So let's go ahead and jump right into this review. And as always, we are going to start off with those minifigures. So first up here, we have RDA Corch, and he's looking pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. I really like the surprising amount of detailing on his torso and leg printing. It's kind of too bad for anyone who kind of wants to utilize these for army building. And I mean like military army building, it's not really gonna work. Because for one, if you want to use that really sick vest piece, the torso printing has his blue Navi skin underneath. You could overlook that, but it's there. And I guess, you know, that means your guy is wearing like a blue undershirt. And then you have his leg printing, which again would be really cool for army building, except that they use the woody extra long legs. So not exactly to scale with humans. Slightly unfortunate if you were after these guys for that. But one thing I do really love about this minifigure is the way that they were able to capture Korch's face so well on this Navi printing. It literally looks just like him. And as a whole, this minifigure just has a really good likeness to the character in the film and is definitely one of the most coveted in this set. Next up, we have Neteyama, and he does come with his own really cool knife. I do like the design of it. Just a simple Navi hairpiece that we've seen quite a few times in this wave alone. Got a little bit of a necklace. Nice printing for his loincloth there. A lot of the Navi minifigures are really simple for obvious reasons. I mean, they don't wear much clothing, but you really have to just appreciate the blue printing on their skin. It is absolutely beautiful. Next up, we have one of the Metkayina minifigures, Aonang, I believe is his name. I really like this hairpiece. It's the same one that Korich is wearing, but it's definitely appropriate and I really like the usage of it. He's also got just a simple necklace on, a loincloth, and again, I really love the reef people and their color of skin. It's like this lighter shade of blue because it matches in with the coral reef, just helps them blend in generally with their environment. Just another pretty good looking Navi minifigure. Almost forgot to show off his really sick bow and arrow. I love these arrow pieces with this transparent blue. From what I gather, the way it works is you just kind of flick or push the arrow and it shoots out like that. So he also comes with a weapon. Very cool. Finally, we have Spider, the Navi wannabe. He played an interesting role in this film for sure. I think the way that his skin is printed on there looks really, really good. I mean, he does kind of use, I think it's blue clay, some sort of clay I think it is, that he uses to kind of paint these Navi markings onto his skin because he feels one with the tribe. He's not accepted by all but he does feel like a part of their family. So that's his way of kind of blending in with them. I think this hairpiece for him was pretty good. <laughs> Little bit messy, very unkept in fact. And if we take off this hairpiece, he is one of the few minifigures that does come with two face printings. And what's really cool is that both of them are actually wearing the mask. I suppose that's because you see him very few times without that mask, I think only when he's in the lab. So that does make sense. And you can also see some of the blue paint printed onto his face there. But yeah, interesting. He's got that breathing mask on both sides. And even though he is angry for much of this movie, I do just prefer to have Happy Spider, even though we all know that's not entirely what we got. So the Mako subset as a whole, I really do like. I feel like for 550 pieces, you're really getting a lot. And I know some people would kind of prefer to not have these extra coral reef stands you do get like one of these little swimming effect ones in every single avatar set. And then there's the one in the back here with the manta ray, who by the way, this manta ray, oh my goodness, I love him. He's so, so cute. That is one of my favorite molded animal pieces that I've ever gotten. But he does come on this, you know, coral reef stand filled with lots of color. There's some glowing elements. And I personally am a big fan of these little like extra Avatar, Navi, just the Pandora builds. I really, really like them because they add a lot, at least to the way that I display them. But with this one, you do get this whole little cave, which I like to imagine is where Kitty or Took, you know, they like to go and they swim inside there. They grab those little breathable butterfly wing things. Those were so, so cool. And there's another little transparent stud piece there for you to attach another Navi minifigure to have him swimming around. 
So now the submarine itself, I really like the design of. This thing was so cool in the film, and surprisingly there were not a lot of pictures for me to kind of compare it to. Maybe by now more have popped up, but in general one of the things that I thought was the most cool about this vehicle in the film was the fact that you have this like double cockpit area where you have a pilot and gunner station, and this is somewhere where also because I can't find a lot of reference pictures, I wasn't able to verify who goes where. So we could assume that the pilot's in the back and the gunner's in the front. However, However, I don't think it would be very comfortable to be a gunner on your stomach. I am opening up the Avatar Discord chat, let me know what the correct answer is if you know because I really am confused. So on either side of the Mako sub there is also that CET Ops sticker, a few more details just kind of wrapping around to the front toward the cockpit area there. And if we look at the back then you do have these three propellers. For the most part they're also accurate looking. The only thing missing is that each one is supposed to kind of have a little bit of a yellow stain sort of wrapped around closer to the propeller bit. And this like rear end that kind of dips down and extends is also correct looking. And then you do also have this like skull and crossbones tag, probably specific to this battalion, just to what these guys sort of decorate like their squad with. And again, as an overall design, I just think this thing looks really, really clean. Super interesting to look at. You can, of course, take it off of its stand. One of the things that I love about these Avatar sets are the stands. And just looking at everything color-wise on the top, again, everything is accurate looking, which is really nice. The black, these yellow bands. There's this like yellow handle piece back here. You can, of course, open up these submarine cockpit areas. And to have a little look inside, you can see those sticker pieces. There's the one for the top and then the one for the bottom. Nothing major. That's kind of the only detailing on the interior. Now, the one thing I was sort of on the fence about are these big gaps on the side. Obviously, if this were a real submarine, this would be a little bit problematic, seeing as the water is just going to go straight inside. I always have trouble deciding how picky to be about this because I guess these pieces don't really exist. There's no perfect globe that can kind of encompass everything. But what they did try to do was have this separate like cockpit window piece on the bottom here to give it that sort of illusion. And it's not perfect. Also, by the way, I think these are supposed to be like joysticks on the front here. And this is part of the reason that I thought the driver was maybe on his belly. This looks much more like a driving sort of tool than it does a gunner. Of course, you also have your play feature right there. Great fun. And yeah, that is pretty much the entirety of the Mako submarine. Again, it's one that I really do like. I'm really surprised that it took me so long to get this built. But either way, I am a really big fan. And you know, it's kind of up to you to decide whether or not this whole open cockpit thing bugs you. They're trying to keep the design narrow, which I can respect, because it's not really bulbous like on the sides which having a specific piece, you know, it might have a more of a rounded look. So like shape-wise, it looks accurate. It's just the fact that it's not completely closed and I've decided it doesn't really bother me, but that's kind of up to you. But I mean, regardless, do let me know what you think about the set as a whole. I think everything combined, it looks really beautiful. It's so cool. I know a lot of people have kind of coveted after this style, like a war machine, submarine kind of thing for a while, and it's really cool. It does have its own specific look, but I mean, if I were army building some sort of ocean battlefield, I would definitely stock up on those because they're really cool. You may not have something to do with all of these Navi minifigures, but this is one of the most military looking kind of designs for Lego that we've had in quite a while. Something I can definitely appreciate. On that note, do let me know what your thoughts are on this set. It is probably one of my favorites in the avatar wave if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to hit that like button thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you next time